are in Seattle, as you might be able to tell by the sound of the rain hitting the windshield. Uh, Seattle actually gets a bit of a bum rap for being as rainy as it is. It's just that uh, it's normally so overcast and cloudy and has the potential for rain, but it actually doesn't get as much rain as its, uh, as its reputation says it does. But it's raining today, and it was raining yesterday, so so much for you. Know, stick with the stereotype. Um, it was. Uh, it started raining for the first time on our trip, uh, just on the Canada side of the border. It's kind of how we can tell we were getting close to Seattle. Um, and it's on and off raining. It seems to change how much it's raining as soon as I switch the windshield wipers to a different level. We slept very, 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 very well last night and uh, didn't have to wake up uh, to an alarm clock or anything like that. So we're much more energized today. Uh, the hard part of our trip is over, three days of uh, 15 plus hours driving. Uh, the next couple are going to be a lot shorter. Uh, we're on our way to see uh, Jolene, one of our Rose's very closest friends, one of the ones she's known for uh, most of her life. So we are on our way to Portland, Oregon, um, and we will be sleeping tonight in Klamath Falls. Uh, we actually got out of Seattle, or rather uh, got off the highway in Seattle, a little behind schedule, first time we've been behind uh, all trip, but it looks like we're going to be making it up on this trip. So, so that's where we are right now. Uh, any input, Rose? Um, no, I'm not really. Looking forward to seeing a part in June and Klamath Falls Spaz got into a package of Oreos. Yeah, Brad Dog. And that's about all we have. So uh, we'll either check in with you again uh, tonight or tomorrow morning.